I was born and raised in Utah. Uh, I, I didn't grow up in a, in a Christian home. Um, I, was, I, was, I was taught a different religion and that's, that's the religion I, I lived and breathed in, until I was over 30 years old. Eternity to me then was, was something that, it was always in the back of my mind. Um, you know, it, it wasn't that eternity didn't exist in that religion, but it, it was something that I had to earn. I, by, you know, by the things I did, the way I lived my life, it, it was something that my eternity was going to be based off of the life I live now. My eternity would be as good as I, as I could make it. So in, in doing that and growing up with that religion, there, there, there were things that didn't always make sense to me, didn't always add up, and there were, um, there were many points in my life where I kind of fell away. Feel like something was missing, so I would I would come back to it, you know, in, in hopes to find find that um, whatever whatever it was that was missing in my life, and I, I did that quite a bit, um, and even up into the point where um, I, I met Lacey um, and we got married, we were it, it was pretty awesome because we were both on the same page. The things that we didn't that didn't sit right well with me were the same things that didn't sit well with her, and so. Uh, it, we, were, we were great for each other in, in that sense, um, but the same thing started happening. We would, we would fall away for a little bit, and then we'd feel like, yeah, something's missing, let's, let's go back and see if we can find that. Um, and it got to the point where um, it, it just wasn't working, but we wanted it to so bad. And the, 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 the big push for us was family. Um, that's, you know, that's, that's where everything was geared around, was family. And, and sure enough, here comes our first son. We have Kobe and we thought, okay, this is it. This is what's going to make the change. We're going to go back to church. And now because we have a family, we have our son, everything's just going to be, it's going to fall into place. And it didn't. Um, it, it still, it just wasn't, it wasn't clicking. Um, and so we, we fell away a little bit again and um, then, then came our second son. So we, we went back to church and we were ready. We were gung-ho and, and we were just going to do everything we could to make it work. Um, and it, it, it still didn't quite fall into place. Um, you know, and as, as the religion that we grew up in, um, we, we had just the belief that we were following Jesus, and so we, we, we would call ourselves Christian. And Lacey came home one day and she said, you know, let's, let's, let's maybe try just going to a different, a different church, you know. And so we thought we'll go to a non-denominational Christian church, it'll be the same uh, as what we grew up believing, and it'll, you know, just be a little bit different. We went and it wasn't the same. Things weren't even close to the same as what we had grown up with, um, but it was amazing. Everything clicked into place from the first time we were there. The first time um, I heard the pastor up on stage say that Jesus was God, everything fell into place. Everything started coming together. Everything that I wanted eternity to be started falling into place. And, and then learning about what eternity really meant um, from the Bible, from a Bible standpoint, having Jesus in my life. I'm not trying to earn anything. I'm not trying to um, force my way to in, into this amazing eternity. It's, it's guaranteed to me for, you know, just through grace. Before where eternity was just mine, and, and my eternity was going to be based off of what I did. I, it, it wasn't something that I was, you know, out trying to, to share with people. I wasn't trying to give them something that I was trying to earn myself. I had to, um, I had to really sit back and, and, and it, there was almost a fear of whether or not, you know, my eternity was going to be what I wanted it to be or, you know, what, what I deserved or, you know, any, anything along those lines. But, but now um, that my eternity is is guaranteed, is just the rest of forever with God. Um, it's something I want to share with everybody. Anybody who's willing to listen, I want them to know the eternity that's waiting for them. That they just have to accept Jesus into their life. You know, just, just that, that the whole principle of, of starting with trusting Jesus. You know, it's something so easy um, to have such a precious gift. And, and I want to give it to everybody. Any, anybody who will listen, I want to share that with them. And so that's, that's, I think, where I want, you know, the most of my time or the, 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 the most amount of time I spend in my life, I want it to be for Jesus. I want it to be sharing him with other people. It's not just about me anymore. It's not something that I'm trying to earn or have to work for. It's already given to me. 
and how I want to share that with other people.